Hey everybody, welcome back to I the feel Batman sorry Arkham for Asylum. Scarecrow. <laughs> As I drown you out with my own voice. I feel sorry for Scarecrow. Uh, Only a little bit. I'm glad he's dead. And eh, he'll walk it off. <laughs> Just like most heroes and villains. Eh, they'll walk it off. Exactly. All he ripped the heart out of my chest! Eh, you can walk, hey, it, walk off. it off. <laughs> and now we're actually gonna be in this Man, you up truly coast. are a Batman. You truly are Batman. You just made everything a lot more difficult for yourself with these zip lines. Damn straight. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna be the motherfucking Batman, I gotta have to make it much more difficult. I don't know if I want to go in there, Ethan. Yeah, I heard that growl too. <laughs> Oracle, I'm heading into Croc's lair to collect the plants. And this is probably some kind of the most tedious network. part of the game. Send me the schematics. It's like a maze down here. There's nothing on record. Bruce, are you sure about this? Sounds like a suicide mission. I've got no choice. Special Batman sonar chip. The spore is required to make the antivenom. It'll lead me straight to them. What about Croc? Croc's just an And then he puts all of the explosive gel on that thing. And if you look at it, it actually is in the symbol of I'll Batman. When I'm done. Yep. <laughs> These floating platforms will support me. Uh, my first experiences with this with this part of the game. Um, so I got that the fact that you had to not move that much when um you were on the platforms. To me, I thought you had to always walk, but until I realized that you can actually crouch down, it still does the. It's still as effective, so... It actually makes you go faster. Yeah, it makes you go a lot faster. I did not notice that I could do this until I did my second round of this game. You really didn't? Wow. No, I never thought of it. Go for it. And oh, I... you bitch! And, okay, so yeah. What you have to do is throw the batterings at his collar, so that way it shocks him and everything like that, but... The first time I when he popped out of the water, I shit my pants and started to run the other direction. <laughs> Who didn't? Seeing that big hulking mask, you might as well see the Hulk, the Hulk from the Ultimate comics. Yeah, come at towards you and is ready to eat you. Jesus Christ! Because he actually does that. And the you know the whole Ultimate Avengers comics, uh, the well the movie. Well, uh, the story and the comics is supposed to be where Hulk the uh, Hulk destroys the Shatari main villain. But as because the that villain keeps regenerating, he got, got tired of be ripping him apart. That he actually started eating him. Jesus Christ! Hulk ate him. He's like, stop regenerating, and it just starts devouring the the main villain. You know what I don't get? We're collecting all these small, collecting like a small sample off these plants. Wow. God damn. Yeah, that's only the one of the two times where that happens, because seriously, the auto... Because, you know, if you double tap the, uh, the, um, the battering, where you, where you usually use to throw your batterings and everything like that, I think, I think, system. yeah, I think it's, I think it's the, uh, L, the left trigger for Xbox 360, but uh, if I'm playing it on the, uh, PlayStation 3, so it's the, uh, L2 button. L1. Yeah, actually, actually, you're right. If you want to get into that whole jargon and everything, it is the L2 button. And here we go. See? Jesus Christ! <laughs> you suck! I swear, God. auto aim wasn't working for me. It just wasn't that. It just, you know, my recording curse, Bertram, just decided to come and fuck me over. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm Killer Croc. Just got you. Oh, you're talking about Killer Croc. I thought you were talking about my recorded curse, Bertram. Tick tock, tick tock. Ethan, I'm just ready, waiting around the corner to fuck you over. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Wait, what do you, what do you expect? He is Bertram. Fuck you, Bertram. Fuck you. Uh, yeah. Okay. I, All right. To, and I think you're good. I decided to name my recording curse Bertram. I, I, I gave uh, the fucking brute uh, from the Halo games, the brute chief, I called him George. <laughs> George? Yes. You mean you mean the main brute, Tartarus, or what's his name? No, no, no. His name is Tartarus, but every other brute chieftain under him, his name is George. 
Which I is should, why whenever I kill one, I... What? <laughs> I was gonna make a Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge reference, but whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, didn't, I don't even watch Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge. Frankly, I think it's stupid. I like it. It's pretty funny. Especially like the stuff with Merrick. That's pretty much what I watch you for. I really watch you for Merrick. <laughs> Why, that's the he's the funny guy? Yeah, he's the Nappa of that? Yeah, he pretty much is. He pretty much is. I tried watching that. One Piece, and dear god. None piece is fucked up. So <laughs> it's stupid as what it is. He does. He it doesn't make any sense. That's the whole point that he's trying to get at. He doesn't want to make. Doesn't want to give it any sense. It's like he said at that one time. TV yeah. show has less sense already. It doesn't need any. It doesn't need less sense. Damn it. Oh, one piece has sense, but the only time you ever get sense of it is that you have to watch it from the very beginning. It's not one of the shows where you can just catch in the middle and like, okay, I can get into this. By the way, they actually started up, but they're twenty, they're fifty episodes into it now for the American version on Toonami. Well, yeah, on Toonami, but on DVD they're up to like episode two hundred and fifty something. Yeah, well, Toonami's starting it back up, and they had to do 50 episodes from the last one that they did when they got canceled. Well, I remember when One Piece was on Toonami. They were they were on the um, they were on the arc when they were up in the sky, and that was like episode. Yeah, this is 50 episodes after that. Okay. All right, cool. That means they're going in the right direction. Good. Because I know that. Because Funimation never lost uh, any rights to One Piece or anything like that, you know, just because Toonami. It's just Toonami got. Canceled. Yeah, Toonami got canceled. Whoever. Stupid. And now they brought it back. Yeah. Doesn't it come on like at Saturday nights? Yes. As a matter of fact, I should probably see if any of my shows are recording. And yes, people, I do watch anime and shit. And you know what? I actually, you know, the whole thing about bronies and all that. I tried to figure out what that's like. I tried for the life of me to watch the My Little Pony things, and I actually have three other friends who forced me to watch more episodes. Every episode I watch, I tell them, I still don't get it. This thing's still a fucking retarded ass show. Sure, they have a little bit of adult humor in here, but I don't see the point. It's really, and it's not that I'm bagging on bronies or people who like My Little Pony at all. I'm just saying, this isn't my cup of tea, and please don't force me to do it anymore. I'm not gonna lie, I saw the first season of that show, and for what it is, it's not bad for a little kid show and everything like that. The animation's good, the humor's not too bad. But, you know... It's worth adult-like, but still, either way, for uh, me, it, it is definitely not my cup of tea. Yeah, same here, it's not my cup of tea either. And, you know, there's lots of Sonic, there's lots of Sonic fans now that are turning bronies and everything like that. And sorry to say, I'd rather have my blue hedgehog than my blue pony. Thank you very much. And if it's supposedly, there's actually a, a, the actor who played the Klingon guy, I guess, from the Star Trek Next Generation. He plays one of the ponies. Yeah, there's a lot of famous voice actors and voice actresses. Jesus Christ, you damn. You cut that pretty close. <laughs> Jesus, I thought he was actually going to grab you! I think at that point I almost wanted to throw down my controller and run into the other room. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, run! <laughs> exactly. He's going to grab me! Exactly. <laughs> Killer Croc's hand comes out of the TV and chases you. Damn. That's amazing 3D. Okay, whenever Killer Croc talks, he is about to always attack. That yeah. That is a fact. I know. It's just that I think he's making noise to make a the, sonar system. It's just the last time, last time when it, I was cutting it very close is because I was going around the corner thinking, okay, maybe he'll appear maybe a little bit far ahead of me. No, he appears right in front of me like, Jesus! But now we have to make it all the way back to the beginning. And, you know... It's funny because you know when I was talking to Chris about this part and everything like that. He has a good, he had a, he had a good attention. Um, why couldn't Batman just get this, get all the uh, sample of the serum he needs out of one plant? Yeah, I know. But again, dude, remember the rule. Remember the rule. 
Okay, if we're bringing the fucking back. Okay, excluding the rule. If there was no such thing as the rule for Batman, what the fuck? Uh, I don't know. Again, the rule for Batman is he makes everything more difficult than they have to be. Yep, and he's just. That could be easy. He the just Batman be difficult. If it's too damn easy, he's not gonna do it. If it's too damn hard, he's still gonna do it. Exactly. Oh, that Batman. That now we have to run away because Croc is going to kill us. That's probably why his name is Croc. It's I eat people. Really? You know, first time I never actually knew to do this. Even though, even though he even though he took it out. I mean, Batman pretty much takes out the explosive gel. Yes, but I thought I had to hit his collar again, so I switched my battering. I'm like, go! Get away! Get away! <laughs> and then he got me. And what'd he do? <laughs> I never got caught by him. Does the screen go black? Uh, just, yeah, the screen just goes black. Damn. Just leave it to your imagination, everybody. And he comes up and he's, he does his little fucking speech in which he goes, Ha ha ha, I got you, numb. Yeah, I will eat your bones. Bones, bones. And now I got myself to remote control battery. Very late, but, eh, I have it. Besides, I don't, I don't even use it. In fact, you barely use it, actually, in Arkham Asylum. Unless you want to get a certain uh, trophy slash achievement, which you catch it. But other than that, you use that thing way more in Arkham City than you do in Arkham Asylum. Actually, I have ne I, the only time I did that was re for the whole remote control thing. I barely used that at all, even in Arkham City. The well, only time I used it was for the achievement. Well, the Arkham C in Arkham City, there is a there's Riddler trophies that you have that you need to get only by using the remote control bat ring because using the remote control bat ring. Helps the helps you get uh, into certain spots that Batman can't go, and it'll hit a button. That is true. That's that's. But whenever I did it, it would only be for those then. Yeah, of course it'll. But still, use it more there than you do here. Because here, you just use it for just an achievement, or hell, if you want to fuck around. But other than that, you use it actually for a purpose. <laughs> I'm like catching myself. Yeah, you use it actually to you know. Collect Riddler trophies. The plants are going crazy. I'm getting seismic spikes in all locations. That's nice. Seismic spikes. Shit. Really nice. But uh, can I go get my Riddler trophy now? I'm trying to hurry, so shut up, you bitch! God. Yeah, that's nice, Barbara. Okay, can I get my trophy? I, I realize you used to be back rolled, but you walked away from that, and then you got crippled. So shut the fuck up. Get that, get this, because for some reason, the first time I was down here, I missed it. Uh, it smells like Batman Forever down here. Yeah, it smells like Batman Robin, Batman Robin down here. That's worse. And now yeah, Batman has Simonella. And now back to the Batcave, the last time we'll ever go to the Batcave. Just because we need to get the serum all set and get our last upgrade, or our last Batman tool. Close. It's been more difficult than I expected. I'll, as in, I made it more difficult than I should have. The process is slow, difficult, and doesn't produce much antidote. Just the way I like and it. The, good news? the chemical will definitely stop Ivy. It may also reverse the Titan transformation. I need to run some more tests to be sure. I've set the computer to create more, but I need to get out of here and find Ivy. Thank God. Her plants have reached the Gotham River. Really? I figured they'd actually have gotten onto the land, because we are, even though we're an island, there's a bridge that leads out. We're gonna need a and lot of weed killer. Ethan? What? We gotta call the, gotta call the people at Home Depot right. to get their asses down here. We need them. We need some extreme, extreme weed killer if we're gonna kill those things. 
And out of nowhere, Batman puts this and this together, and he makes the Ultra Bat Claw. I just have to. Now, I know this is the whole contact sensitive shit, and Batman is the master of it because he has everything in his utility belt. But I have to ask, where the fuck does he store that thing on that pelt? I have no idea. Your your guess is as good as mine. But now, since we yes, have it, we can so, actually rip open walls. Even if he has everything in there, he never truly uses every single belt pocket whenever he's in battle. You only see him use one or two of them. You never see him use all of them. So there's always a chance that there's always everything in there for any time. Dude, every single time I look at the Ultra Bat Claw, I think it's some sort of giant taser. Reminds me of the Super Taser from Condemned. And it's literally called the Super Taser in Condemned. Because <laughs> first you got your regular taser, and then you got Super Taser. So regular taser just tases them, Super Taser tases up, but they fall to the ground. I'm just going to say this right now. In the next Arkham game, they should turn it into a taser version. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got a little, you got a little a toy that's uh, like that, that's somewhat like a taser. Combine the two together. Exactly. It's a little electric gun he used to open shutters. That's pretty much our taser for the game. But I would, I would rather have the Ultra Bat Claw be a taser. <laughs> Get that's three a... targets at once. Yeah, <laughs> you can hit three. No, no. Best part about it. No, best part about it since it's three claws. You really want to make a devastation on it, and this is probably going to be some like perverted gay shit. But shoot it at them; it grabs onto their chest, and the and the third one that's lower grabs onto their balls and just shocks their entire body. Damn! They're never going to have children again. <laughs> Ten thousand volts to the nutsack. <laughs> I'm getting this trophy over here because uh, you're never going to go over here ever again. So might as well pick it up. You can always come back here. Not saying that it's impossible to come back here, but you only come over here once. So you might as well get it now. Whee. Exactly. Nee, 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 nee. I I will say this. He has immense upper body strength. And I mean like world's strongest man kind of upper body strength. Oh, he's some other fucking Batman. I know, but damn. I can barely do that. It may be just be the guy who's a wealth, who's really fit that can do this, but seriously, I sure as shit can't. Eh. Well, he's a motherfucking Batman. He has to train for this shit. <laughs>